Welcome to We Cook It Right, where we find simple recipes that aren't too hard to make and show you how to do it. I'm Marcus, I don't really know how to cook. And I'm Adrian, I uh, kind of know how to cook. <laughs> and what are we going to be doing today? Okay, so today we're going to be making tacos. And inside the taco, we're going to have steak, which we've marinated already, and we're going to go with the salsa. So for the steak, what we've done is we've marinated it overnight in some orange juice, some lime juice, cilantro, garlic, salt, pepper, and a bit of jalapenos to give it a kick. I like me some kick. Yeah. And then for the salsa, we're going to be using these ingredients. So green onion, red onion, plum tomato, jalapeno, lime, garlic, some cilantro. We're going to mix it all up with a bit of olive oil. We're going to have a good salsa to go with it. This sounds delicious. And of course, we've got our taco shells. And generally speaking, yeah, this wasn't too expensive to throw together. So. I'm excited. You ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, so the salsa is super easy to make. Okay. Much all we do is we take all the ingredients that I've mentioned, and then we process it and just mix it all together. Okay, cool. First of all, I'm going to take the green onions, and I'm just going to slice it up. Okay. Slice it up into small slices. All right, next, do tomatoes. Okay, so how do you cut a tomato? <laughs> okay, just actually curious. So for a tomato, what you want is a very sharp knife. Yeah, that's pretty much with anything. Yeah, if you're cutting something. Exactly. So I would cut it down the middle first, so you have like a stable platform essentially to okay. in order to cut the tomato. Yeah. And then just like strips. Yep, just strips. So what you want to do is you want don't go straight down. You want to use the length of the blade and slice it. You see how when you like move the knife forward at the same time, it's like hold the tomato a bit, yeah. but then have your fingers tucked in, okay. just so you won't like accidentally cut yourself. Yeah. So you can do this at home. It's super simple. Okay, so tomato's done. Next up, let's do let's do the onion. All right. So we'll, we're only going to use half of the onion. Okay. To dice it, what you want to do is first you want to make strips down. Yep. And then, once you have the strips down, you want to cut it diagonally. So you don't want to cut it all the way through because if you leave like the tip intact, the whole onion holds its shape still. And then finally you cut it straight down. Okay. Onions cut jalapeno? Let's do the jalapeno. Okay, how do we do the jalapeno? Cut the stem off. And then we're going to cut it in half. And then we're gonna remove the seeds because the seeds. The seeds is the spicy part, right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't want too much spicy. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. All right. How do we do that? Put the knife underneath, and then just slowly cut the middle part out. So we're just dicing it up now. All right. So dicing it up, similar like to, uh, to the tomato, cut it into strips, and then align the strips, and then just cut it straight down. Nice. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I know, right? Yours are a lot smaller and more shoes. <laughs> and they're all over the place. It's actually fine. Maybe it's better that yours got oh, like a bit bigger. <laughs> just so it matches the size of uh, everything else. Next, we're gonna mince up some garlic. We crushing the garlic like last time? Uh, no. <laughs> Darn! <laughs> This time we actually want small pieces of garlic to mix in. Okay. Want a whole piece. Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> but we still are gonna smash the garlic to start it off. Okay. And just push it right down to so get the skin off. I'm gonna mix it into small pieces. Okay, next we will do the cilantro. Okay. Is there any special way to do the cilantro or is it just kind of. Uh, for me, what I did was I washed it, okay. I removed some of the stems, because the stem actually has a lot of flavor. Yeah. yeah. I, although I like cilantro in my food, I don't like an overpowering amount. Yeah. So I just have a bunch of cilantro. This is actually a bit more than a bunch. <laughs> usually be like, fitting in your hand. Yeah. This is like, a bit coming out, right? It's popping. Yeah, it's popping, <laughs> but it's a good amount. So we're just gonna give it like a rough chop. Chop a few times. The last thing we're going to do is juice the lime. Juice the lime. How do we juice the lime? Okay, if you don't have a juicer, <laughs> here's a trick that you can do. Is grab the fork. Yeah. Take the lime, roll it a bit. Just give it like a good massage, you feel? Once you've added it, roll a bit. We'll slice it in half. And then with the fork, we're going to poke it. And then squeeze it and twist it with the fork in. All right, so we're going to put about a quarter of a cup of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Okay. 
It's about 50 ml. Talk about salt. Salt actually makes everything better. Um, and then I'll just give it a good mix. Mix it up, a good stir. And there you have it. So that's pretty much all that we're going to be using for the uh, salsa. Yeah, wow, this is our salsa. Nice. Thank you. And then we're just gonna toss the plain steak in there. Yep, we're gonna oil up the pan a bit and then sear it off. So we're gonna go about medium high heat. Okay. For I'd say about five minutes, five minutes each side. Okay. And then we're going to flip it regularly as well, so it doesn't burn. All right. For a plain steak, you don't want to overcook it. Yeah. Because it'll get really dark. Okay, so we'll aim for about like a medium, medium rare, medium in between. Okay. So what we're gonna do right now is cut the steak up, the steak up. Yes, and then we'll have tacos ready. I am excited. All right, let's cut it up. Let's go. How do we do this? What you want to do is you want to cut against the grain. What that means is, see all these fibers? What you want to do is you don't want to cut with it. You don't want to cut this way. So you want to cut perpendicular to the fibers. Exactly. So just like this. Okay. Thin slices. Gotcha. Reason why we do that is because if we cut with the grain, it's going to be really chewy. All right. Let's put these tacos together. Away from all the lies. It's a no, no, no. The enemy is this guy's. Better straighten up your family ties and send it up right now. Boost away. Boost away. Boost away. It's all about us right now. And there we go, tacos. Yeah, so we have that. That didn't take very long either. Like, this was a lot shorter than the last one we did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, the well, longest part was basically just frying the steak. But the marinating part, actually. Oh, yeah, that's But I, mean, I wasn't here for that. Yeah. So that explains that. Okay, well, time to first some tacos. You ready? Yeah, let's do this. They're really good. <laughs> So if you make this at home, let us know how it goes because they're really good. Mm. And yeah, if you like the video or anything like that, let us know. Or any other recipes that you want to hear from us. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>